my swamps and ingrown toenails don't really go together. This to me looks like a gator slide. Like if you've ever heard of a beaver slide, then you might know what I'm talking about. But anyway, it looks like the gators maybe come out here and bask or do whatever gators do. And then when they get ready to get back in the water, they just slide on in. And that's why it's worn out right there. That's my guess anyway, but. So this is the north end of the big Cypress Preserve. And I think from what I can tell, we're probably done with walking in the swamp and getting our feet wet, thankfully, since my poor toe is all janked up. But this is an awesome way to finish up Big Cypress. If you look through there, you can see a gator across the canal. There's our first gator. He's across the canal from us. Oh boy. I have never seen something that looks like that. It's like a ladybug mated with a <laughs> centipede. centipede. Dinosaurs are real. Sneaky, sneaky. Number six. He's taking a nap. He's got his little head rested on that stick. This morning, there's a little log book that you can sign in to indicate that you're hiking north of 75. They just like to keep track of hikers that come and go. And when we opened the wooden box, there was a flyer there for a hiker who had been found deceased and he was unidentified and it was like, a punch to the gut because it's a story that I've been following for two to three years now and some of y'all may have heard of it but there was a guy named Mostly Harmless or at least that was his trail name and he had done a pretty large section southbound on AT and then the Penhody Trail and then he had gotten on the Florida Trail between 2017 and 2018 but while I was on the Penhody Trail I thought about that a lot and they ended up identifying him. And today we went by Noble's campground, which is where they found him. Uh, but it just, it breaks my heart and it's something that's just uh, been a mystery to many people in the hiking community for a while. So I am glad that they have finally been able to identify him and that hopefully friends, family, or whoever wondered what happened to him is able to get some closure now. It's just really sad and honestly a little eerie going through this stretch of trail and knowing this is some of the last scenery that he was able to see in his lifetime.
this guy's on our side of the canal. This has to be the shortest caterpillar I have ever seen. It's so cool looking. I mean, that's my finger in reference. I'm just trying to get him eaten, but... Ooh, there's an ant messing with him. Does anybody know what this is? It looks like there's part of one there, and then it got stepped over, but... And maybe is that... Points? I don't think so. I think that's just where mud flipped up. I just want to know how many of these have caught us peeing today. That is a monster gator. And there's another one right in front of it. So that's number nine and ten for the day. This is so cool. Where are you cutting it just the side? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But the nerves all attached to the tip. Oh, I see. Well, so if we just did it right around there, you would feel it and you would not be happy. I would not be happy. It has been quite the eventful couple of days. The day before yesterday, we got to the Seminole Reservation and we met Ari there at the boundary, who is an incredible trail angel and a huge advocate for the Florida Trail. He had a cooler with snacks and drinks waiting on us and does not live nearby like an hour to two hours away or so but he volunteers to refill water caches in this next stretch that we're going to be in and is just an all-around awesome fella but he beelined us into town about an hour away and I immediately went to an urgent care to get my toe seen about and was really hoping to get some antibiotics which I did, and because it was a Sunday, I had to wait till the following day to try to get into a podiatrist. Well, it turns out once we got to town, I realized my Aunt Kathy lives nearby, and so she suggested her podiatrist, and we went to see him. And thankfully, when I called yesterday morning, they had an appointment just after lunch. So we went and had lunch with Aunt Kathy, and she took me over to the podiatrist, who recommended that he cut out the ingrown toenail. I had this done on the CDT and actually to both toes. I'm pretty sure I keep getting ingrown toenails as a continuing issue that stemmed from an incident on my through hike of the Pacific Crest Trail. I started off with shoes that were a little bit too small for me. It caused blisters under my toenails and my big toenails ended up falling off and I think when they grew back, they just never quite grew back the same. Anyway, he uh, numbed me up, cut part of my toenail out, and I propped my foot up for the rest of the day yesterday, and now we're back at it again. It's already been pretty cool. We're going to be up on levees until we get to the next town stop, which is Clewiston, and it's pretty much going to look like this from what I understand. Just canals with levees with canals with fields. Look at these gator tracks. Well, that's a shoe for me, but gator track, gator track, body, gator track, gator track. I think there's probably a bird that's upset that it dropped its food.
the swarms have emerged. <sighs> what kind of snake we got here? This is a non venomous snake. Oh, he's a garter snake. They don't, they don't go anywhere though. <laughs> Mouth. What's she doing? The trying to get mosquitoes. <laughs> the mosquito mambo. I have learned a valuable lesson tonight. I won't again let the sun set or the swarm start before I get my headlamp out. Cause I had to stop in all this, <laughs> and uh, it's rough. Come on, do your job. We're getting torn up out here. I think I'm about to the point where even though it's 70 something degrees, I'm gonna put my rain pants on and raincoat because that's the best way to keep them from biting you. I always try to see the silver lining in things and I'm not glad that I had to have my toe hacked on but I am happy that it's out of the way now and I know a lot of folks hate road walks like this but we've seen just today already over 50 gators in the canals and that's one of the things that really kind of drew me the most towards the Florida Trail because that's one beast in wildlife that I haven't really gotten to, I won't say interact with, but coexist with. So I'm, I'm really excited that uh, I'm getting my money's worth. Well, my toe is still attached, so that's a good sign. <laughs> well, that new bug on the tent. <laughs> 